Okay. White Shark Assassins has released a second promo video for the upcoming Shark Week documentary. And in this video, we get to see the fake orca decoy that Dickie Cheval gets to pilot to see how great white sharks respond. Now, I use the term decoy and a replica orca quite loosely because it does appear that it's just a piece of flat foam rubber with half a cage bolted to the top side of it. Presumably, to protect Dickie from the sort of legendary air jaws attack from the air rather than the more traditional breach from below. I'm going to play the clip now, but hang around afterwards because I've definitely got a few questions that I'd like you guys to weigh in on. Can we get me further out? Shark experts Dickie Shivel and Allison Towner are attempting to bring a large 16-foot great white shark up from the deep to determine if it has encountered an orca. Okay, so there you have it. Now, there's a really popular argument that says that when you have shark attacks, this erodes support for shark conservation. After all, why would you try to conserve something when you're absolutely terrified of it? I understand a lot of the criticism towards these types of crazy stunts is that if something should go wrong, then the ultimate victim would be the great white shark that would be painted more as a mindless man-eater willing to bite humans. And I'm being dead serious here. Dickie's a good guy and a personal mate of mine. But should we not view his antics as just a personal mission for him to gain entry into the Darwin Awards? Or with funky stunts like this, when they do go wrong, will this have a real world impact on how the human population perceives sharks and specifically whether the human population will support shark conservation efforts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'm Ryan Johnson. This is a Shark Show.